You're very welcome back to MPS Goes to Westport Festival. I have the honour of sitting beside the lovely Sophie Ellis Baxter. How are you? Hello. I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. So you're just off stage. How did that go? Oh, it was really fun, actually. Yeah. Um, everybody's in a really good mood. Mm. And uh, I was sort of trying hard not to be too distracted by the fact that I could see lots of food stalls from where I'm standing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's fun. Oh, good. And will you get a chance to enjoy those food stalls? Are you going to stick around for yeah, Westport? Yeah, I think eating has definitely got to be done here because <laughs> it's the festival of music exactly. and food. Um, and I really want to see a bit of Cool in the Gang as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mm. We're going to stick around for them. What were the crowd like? Oh, they were lovely. Well, I think, you know, people always talk about how festivals are great no matter what, but I think actually the weather is a massive factor. Mm. And uh, when it's dry and sunny, then everybody's in a really good mood. Yeah, exactly. So, Sophie, you're, you're currently touring your fifth studio album, Wanderlust. Can you tell me a bit about that? Yeah, it's quite a different kind of record, really. I made it with Ed Harcourt, who's an amazing singer-songwriter, and it's not dance and it's not disco. Okay. Um, so it's a good opportunity to write about some other stuff, which is mm. why there's songs about spooky goings on. And uh, <laughs> Ed's actually touring it with me, so oh, great. it's great to play with. So you're fresh off the Westport Festival stage, but you've just landed back from Glastonbury, haven't you? Yeah, we just got the ferry through the night back from Glastonbury. <laughs> so oh, we well. were Friday and all of yesterday. And uh, it was, it's nice to be at a festival where there's not so much mud. Um, <laughs> Is obviously. it? Oh yeah, I heard the weather was... You know what, it's actually all right. It rained twice while I was there. So as in, you know, for maybe 20 minutes at a time. Mm. But in that time it rained a lot. Oh, no. And just once it gets a bit of mud there, it yeah. just sticks around. And it was, yeah, it's pretty grim. So can I ask you about your first album, um, Sophie, Read My Lips? It went double platinum. Your, yeah. your debut album, that must have been amazing for you, was it? You know what, it must have been, but I don't really remember <laughs> thinking too much about that. I think I was just enjoying, I'd been in a band before that called The Audience, mm. um, and so I think I was just enjoying the fact that I was, you know, a solo artist and, enjoy, you know, having such fun with doing songs like Murder and Take yeah. Me Home and songs I still play now. But weirdly, when I got the silver disc for Wonderlust, I think it meant more to me than the double platinum for the first one, which sounds wonky, I know, but yeah. I think it's just uh, sometimes you have... A better perspective on things when you've been doing it for a while yeah. and you understand more what it means to have things work. <laughs> yeah. And Wanderlust landed in the charts at number four, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Which is amazing as well. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that, so mm. that was good. <laughs> and how do you think it's, it's developed from your first one to four albums later, your songs? Um, well, this album is a very, was a very conscious decision to, to do something else. I love dance and disco, but I think it's healthy to sometimes change the parameters a little bit and see how else I might, have, might sing things and how else I might write songs. So um, I'm enjoying it. It's been a lovely year. Mm, and it's, it sounds great. Really, Thank really you. good set. Really enjoyed that. So that was Sophie Ellis Bexter here on MPS Goes to Westport Festival.